Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen. I was actually just admiring my own hair. I think it looks good for once. Um, that's courtesy of Wendy. I just wanted to come on real quick because I posted last week that you can roast your spaghetti squash in the air fryer and then it may be a little bit faster. So I wanna show you, cause I totally did. I had the air fryer, I'll turn you guys around. Okay, here we go. I had the air fryer, it was set to air fry which is 400 degrees and the setting is for 25 minutes and I left it at that and look at this beauty. It's been cooling for a while so I can just stick my hand in but look at this. Ta-da! I'm going to bring it over here and we're going to take everything out of it. So let me flip you back around. What's everybody doing? Monday, I am going to take the insides out with a quick, quick shred because I think it's a really cool tool. So why not use it? So this is just a roasted butter um, spaghetti squash. And all you do is look, shred from the sides and it all comes out super easily. So I like my spaghetti squash with butter. <laughs> um, I mean, really, what doesn't go with butter? My sister-in-law, Jamie Ray, who you'll see in this page sometimes, she likes to make this spaghetti squash lasagna, which I'll post the recipe because I've been toying with making it, but what happens is I don't have like all the ingredients I need, so tonight I'm not making that. The other thing is I like to make like meat sauce and just hold on to that meat sauce for a very long time. And so I'll freeze some, you know, I always do like double, triple batches. And so this is, sorry, somehow I got disconnected. I don't know. Um, so as I was saying, I like to eat my spaghetti squash with meat sauce. Um, there's really cool recipes out there where they use them as like the base for taco boats and all sorts of goodness. So it also counts like a vegetable. So if you like to eat a lot like I do, this is good because it's a big vegetable. So that's that. I just wanted to show you. Look at that. Completely empty. Another tool, if you don't have the quick shred that works, is the scoop loop. I remember showing you this the other day. I used it actually to take the seeds out. But I remember showing you this the other day. And I used the scoop loop to um, take the seeds out of here. So I'll show you. So I showed you the quick shred. Now I'll show you the scoop loop. And it's super simple. It has teeth, which makes it easy. Okay, so here you go. Whoops, look at that. It just came right out. And then I'm just popping it in this container to store in the fridge. I'm definitely gonna have some dinner, and I'm not sure. I'll probably just use meat sauce. The other thing is, like, ordering in from, like, say, like an Italian restaurant sauce that you like they usually will give you like a side of sauce 